Test one, kiss my grits. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, go to my camera, I'm gonna set it, and uh, set the drive mode to high. And on a Sony, you can go high or low on the A7R2. I'm going in high. Uh, I'm shooting this in raw. This is at 42 megapixels each. And uh, the camera will be right next to my chest where I'm mic'd, so you'll hear when it, start, when it starts to hit that buffer. So here we go. Now just for the kiddos at home, I'm shooting at uh, f2.8, 1 125th of a second, ISO 400. And again, this is on the Sony uh, Zeiss 35 millimeter 1.4. All right, so ready, one, Two, three, go. Okay, so let's see how many shots that was. What would you guess be? Come on, my studio audience. <laughs> what do you think? How many was that? 25. 25? I don't know if it was 25, actually. One, two, three. You see the focus is spot on every time. It went to 24 frames. That's Grand Central Station in New York. We don't need that. Mm -hmm. So it gave us 24 frames right there. At 42 megapixels, that's, that's pretty freaking impressive. Now I'm gonna do raw plus JPEG and see if that has an impact on it. Ready? Here we go. Ready, one, two, three, go. I wasn't counting. I would ven I'd venture to say that was exactly the same. What do you think, John? Here, let's go. Let's go ask him. <laughs> this is our studio audience. What do you think, John? How many was that? Uh, the first one was 25. No, it's 24. Yeah, 24. Uh, I'll go with an even 20 on this one. Even 20? Yeah, I think it slowed it down a little bit. Do you? Yeah. We shall find out. Yeah. 21. John, you you are off, you are good, but you're always off by one. Always off by one, but you're closer than I am. So. Raw at 42 megapixels did uh, 24. Raw plus JPEG did 21. Now, kiddos, we are gonna move it to JPEG and there's three JPEG modes. We're moving it to extra fine. Here we go. Two, three, go. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> it sounded pretty fast. I did not expect that. 24. Yeah, I, I would guess it'd be a 24 too. All right, so an extra fine, 24. I guessed right. Yeah, so our studio audience guessed right. So an extra fine mode, it did 24 frames per, it did 24 before hitting the buffer, 24 shots. So. Now we're going to go to JPEG Fine to see what we get. One, two, three. I'll tell you one thing, the write speed is significantly faster. I'm able to access the images immediately. Uh, fine was 30. Now we're doing the lowest setting, which is JPEG standard. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Thirty-six. So, I guess the main takeaway for me is, um, well, I'm surprised. These are all at 42 megapixels, but I thought at the uh, lower JPEG uh, resolutions, it would give you a lot more frames before it hit the buffer. Um, so that's a little surprising. I think the encouraging thing is, um, at a four, with the 42 megapixel camera, you can feel you can feel very confident shooting it in RAW. Um, because of the fact that you can, you can reel off 24 images in RAW straight before it hits the buffer. Guys, these are massive, massive files. Uh, for those out there wondering what card am I uh, shooting this on, this is a PNY Elite Performance. It's a 256 gigabyte card. It has a 90 uh, megabytes per second write speed. So um, whenever you're shooting on a camera like this, you want to make sure it's an SDXC card, not, not an SDHC. Uh, that makes a big difference and really the the write speed uh, applies more importantly to how the images are imported 
and uh, uh, taken into your computer. So I think the, the big difference uh, that I saw for this camera was the ability for you to access the images. That is something that is impacted by um, the resolution that you choose. From a pure shooting standpoint, uh, it's, it's going to behoove you to shoot in RAW like I always advocate. From a being able to access the, the camera and where it stops writing, uh, that, uh, if you need that, if you need to constantly be changing your settings, then you'd be more prone to do JPEG. So I hope this has helped. Uh, would you pass a sobriety test at this point? Uh, maybe. Nice. Maybe. Nice, nice. So um, until next time, guys, keep shooting, never give up on your dreams. I hope that uh, this has helped and uh, that we're able to uh, provide some answers for you guys who are trying to figure out everything you can about this camera. And uh, when I'm doing these tests, it's the first time that I'm doing them because I want it to be my pure reaction as well. I don't pre-test any of this stuff. It's a waste of time. I have better things to do. So until next time, keep shooting, never give up on your dreams. No matter what camera you use, find the one that works for you. Uh, and remember, you only have one chance to get it right. Talk to you later. Bye.